In the shadow of skyscrapers dubbed Billionaires Row, New York City is planning to open a homeless shelter, and many nearby residents are not happy about it. It's, it's, it's really absurd. Helen Oaken and a group of local residents are fighting the decision to house 140 homeless men in the old Park Savoy Hotel on 58th Street, a block from Central Park. This is not a fight about class or anything like that. It's going to happen in your neighborhood too, so it doesn't matter who lives here. It's just a matter of the way it was done, the amount of money that's being spent, the lack of transparency. The $63 million project has run into countless problems, including the city's Department of Buildings issuing a stop work order because the owners didn't have the right permits for renovations. The city's Department of Homeless Services acknowledges residents' concerns, but plans to go ahead with the shelter anyway. In a statement, the department said, Every neighborhood across New York City has a part to play in addressing this citywide challenge. We remain committed to open, ongoing engagement with the community, and we're confident through the collaborative support and compassion we will make this the best experience it can be for these individuals as they get back on their feet. Since taking office, Mayor Bill de Blasio has created 10 new shelters while moving some families into affordable housing. Critics argue that's not enough for what the Department of Housing and Urban Development says is the 77,000 homeless people in New York, including thousands who sleep on the streets. While the shelter's opponents are markedly more vocal, the project does have some support. John Sheehan is a homeless advocate who lives and works within a few blocks of the proposed shelter and says he strongly supports it. I believe people have a right for housing. I believe it's a social justice issue. I believe that as a society and as a city, we need to help the people who are less, that have less than us. And I respect the concerns of people, my neighbors. Uh, they're good people too, but I don't believe that the shelter is gonna have an adverse effect on the community. Many of the shelter's opponents say they are willing to accept a shelter for families, which they contend would fit better in the neighborhood than a shelter for homeless men. The city says it has no plans to change who will inhabit the old Park Savoy, but hopes the shelter will be open by summer. David Martin, The Associated Press, New York.